To come, we continue to look at the best of the 2010 season with action soccer and cricket on the menu, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Action Sports. We continue our best of the 2010 season and we kick off at the brand new Rodepoint Arena for the annual Action Soccer Interprovincial Tournament. At this year's Action Soccer IPTs, teams competed in six different categories. Boys under 16 and 19, the men's under 23 and over 30s, and of course the Open's men's and ladies. A record 41 teams gathered in Rodepoint for the action-packed week. With 2010 being the biggest year in the South African sporting calendar with the hosting of the FIFA World Cup, it was the perfect time to promote the beautiful game and the Action Soccer IPTs turned out to be a wonderful opportunity for players from all over the country to gain provincial honours. Well, it was exciting because it's my first year playing provincials and I didn't, I really dreamt of going this far but it wasn't actually in my, I wasn't, I, I didn't think we'd make it this far and now that we've won, it's been really exciting. With the action netball and soccer IPTs in the history books, it was time for the cricketers of all ages to take to the centre courts around the country for the various provincial tournaments in 2010. The Ovis IPTs for 2010 was the second of five tournaments which will see all the various age groups compete against each other for provincial honours. And with 34 teams taking part this year at Edenvale, the week was jam-packed with matches from early morning till late at night. With two ladies and four men's age categories, the week culminated in the finals day when the top four teams in each group battled it out for the medal positions. On court here, it was defending champions team KZN up against their arch-rivals Eastern Gauteng. KZN batted first, but their innings got off to the worst possible start when their opener Rodney Hornsfeld got run out off the first delivery. With only four overs left, Eastern Gauteng needed 18 runs from their fourth and last pair if they were to win this gold medal final. Who would have thought that they would struggle so much when they restricted KZN to only 62? Captain William also did what his team required as he added two to pull one run ahead with only one ball to come. But with minus five for a wicket, KZN was still in the match and within touching distance of defending their title. But a solid forward defensive block by Greg sealed a 1-1 victory for the Eastern Karting men's over 40 side. What a great game and advert for the sport of action cricket. It was our objective to, to obviously get to the final. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things that you know, we obviously came here to win it. Um, and we just fell, uh, fell, fell a bit short. It took us to the wire in this final and in the last ball we won the game. So I think our guys just show the, the temperament and guts and, and that's what they've showed throughout the tournament and I think that's what won us the tournament. There's confirmation of the podium placings in the men's over 40 category. Congratulations to Easton's for that spectacular one-run win over KZN with Northerns taking home the bronze. In the men's over 45 group, it was three Gauteng teams who took the medals, with Central winning their final by 45 runs from Western Gauteng. The winners in the men's over 35 age group came up all the way from Western Province, with KZN and Northern Gauteng winning silver and bronze respectively. And lastly in the youngsters, the over 30s gold medal went to Central Gauteng after they went unbeaten for the week and hammered Easterns by 61 runs in the final. two ladies age groups here at the Overs tournament with the over 30s and over 35s competing against each other during the round robin but with two gold medal finals to determine the winners. We feature the ladies over 30 gold medal match and like we've shown you already it's arch rivals Northern and Central Gauteng going for gold. As Central's openers walked out to bat, the ladies over 30 team from Northern Gauteng knew that they needed to pull out a wonderful display in the field if they were to be crowned as IPT champions. They outclassed Northerns in the ladies over 30 gold medal final by 66 runs to take away that IPT gold medal. I think we dominated most of the game, but like I said previously, it's a lot of focus. Um, you got to stay on top and can lose it quickly. Enjoyed it. Well, most players have to take leave to attend a week like this. A word on the commitment on your side? 
Absolutely. Um, we all build careers as well as playing sports, so yes, there's a lot of that. Um, we've got a goal, drove out from Middleburg to be here with us, living here for this week. So yes, there's a lot of commitment and it just builds on the team spirit if everybody is committed to the same thing. There's confirmation of the results in the ladies over 30 category. Well done to Central for wrapping up the top spot with that big win over Northerns in the final. In the ladies over 35 category, it was Western Province who won a nail-biter by one run from Eastern Gauteng, with the ladies from KZN coming third. And as per usual, no IPT event will be complete without the official prize-giving ceremony. With all the teams and their supporters crammed onto centre court here at the Edenville Action Sports Arena, it was time to celebrate. And even to the teams who did not walk away with a medal, this is the time to talk about those aching bodies and great friendships that a week of tough competing brings. But overall, it was, it was, it was awesome seeing the old faces again, the old friends, you know what I mean? It's like year in and year out, it's the same people coming back, and it's like so cool. Aina, that's all I can say. We played 11 games in five days. That's, that's a hell of an ask from a 37, 38-year-old, hey? At over 50, it's quite an achievement to play 10 games. And yeah, look, most, like I said, most of the players are all players that have come through the ranks, have been playing for 20 years, it's part of their blood. Our sport is part of their blood and they'll be here till, maybe they'll even open an over 60 category, I don't know. The interprovincial tournaments held on an annual basis serves as the main platform for players to prove their worth and get their names into that when it comes to national selection. At this tournament in springs, three categories were contested, the under-19 boys, the under-23 men and also the under-30 men. First up on court, we focus on the men's under-30 gold final between tournament surprises Lofel against KwaZulu Natal. Uh, we're going to have a ball today and see how we, um, our batting is, we're doing alright with the batting. Um, so yeah, let's try a ball, let's change it a bit and see if it works for us. But the Lofel Mambas were not going to go down without a fight. A great reflex catch near the bat caused Dylan to lose five runs and it was game on. So with four overs left, KZN had 51 runs on the board. But fourth pair of Justin and Clyde found the game a bit easier and lost their wicket once and added a partnership of 26 runs to see their team go into the break, having posted a target of 77 runs. As Lowfeld's opening pair of Captain Morna and Albain walked out to bat, they knew that 78 runs was what they needed to claim their maiden gold medal at interprovincial level. KZN's opening bowler was Amar and he had other ideas. He bowled the tight line and only gave away five runs off the first over. In what was a very tense and close tussle, it was the experience of KZN's under-30s which pulled them through to win yet another gold medal at the under's IPTs. Dylan Wood, captain of the KZN under 30 side, RPT champions, and you're watching Action Sports. Yeah! There is confirmation of the final results then in the men's under 23 category. Congratulations to the Eastern Gauteng team for winning their seventh consecutive gold medal. In the boys under 19 age group, it was another team from KZN who walked away with the spoils, with Easterns and Northerns taking home the silver and bronze respectively. The 2010 Junior Interprovincial Action Cricket Tournament was the biggest one to date, with 57 provincial teams all competing for the ultimate prize, that sought-after gold medal at the end of it all. Teams competed in eight different age categories, starting with the under-10s all the way through to the under-17 boys. And if you were wondering in which province's backyard we were playing this tournament, let these guys tell you. you add up all those minus fives, they can quickly catch up to you, and in a final, every run on the board is vital. As their time with bat in hand was running out quickly, Chris scooped the last delivery from Patrick Land and was caught, and these two could only add 12 runs to the total. It meant that they could only post 104 runs and left a target of 105 to the Central Gauteng Cubs to take home that gold medal at the official prize giving. Boys feel good well, and I think we can chase this down. It's only a, uh, four skins of 25, which isn't much to do, but we still got a lot of work to do.
Chaser and Captain Shahid was bowling the penultimate over and he saw Patrick again down the track and made sure that he got the ball past the swinging bat for what was yet another stumping and the captain's fifth wicket in two overs. As the match ended, it was the youngsters from KwaZulu Natal who would start their celebrations as they managed to bowl and feel their way to their first interprovincial gold medal as a team. Now, all these guys behind you certainly played their part. They had a, a big effort, and I saw a lot of guys going down, crying, but they got up. They were back there for Natal. What do you have to say to them? Um, they, they're very strong, and um, I have to give them a round of applause. I know you're not allowed to have a beer yet, but are you going to have some cool drinks? Ah, uh, yes. Well done, guys, and all the best. <laughs> There's confirmation of that result. Congratulations to the Andy 11 team from KZN for coming up to Gauteng as first-timers and leaving as the IPT champions. The silver medal went towards the central Gauteng Cubs with the Lions taking home the bronze. I think uh, the boys performed exceptionally well. We went through the tournament uh, unbeaten, so it would have been quite disappointing had we lost in the final. Uh, two good sides, though. It was a good advert for the sport. I think it's fantastic. I mean, the kids love the game. The parents here is involved by all and sundry. It's non-stop. It's action. And what I like is that, A, it doesn't take too long a time. So the game's over pretty quickly. Everybody bats and balls. I think this is very important. And also that the, the, the kids play the fundamental basics of the game. So I'm, I haven't seen a lot of slogging. I've seen good cricket shots, but it's fast, it's moving, it's action. And I think it's terrific. I think, um, you know, it's a part of cricket that should be encouraged and developed. All the teams, coaches and supporters crammed onto the centre court for the culmination of a wonderful week at the Benoni Action Sports Arena. A record 57 teams took part in hundreds of matches over the six days. And what a way to celebrate life and sportsmanship. Congratulations to all the winners. What a fantastic and jam-packed year it has been. If you want more information about Action Sports or to locate your nearest arena, please visit actionsports.co.za. We'll be back in 2011 for more action. Until then, travel safe and we look forward to seeing you at the arena.